the no written or written, written on dead podcast more. more yeah or yeah the book asylum book asylum yeah. it's gonna take a while to get used to that yeah <laughs> all right well ladies and gentlemen y'all got to catch a little bit of the tail end of the back scenes of the behind the stage kind of stuff that goes on around here not involving dan and one of my goats that we still have to have a discussion about later anyway <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in this week for another episode of the book asylum i am jack childress my cohorts my partners in crime angel ramon richard ryan rose and back again jeff thompson Dungeon Dan O'Bell. This week, ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing on a guy who's not a big novel writer. He's not out there with 15 books in a series. Hell, he's not even out there like promoting movies and stuff. No, 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 no. He's a creative. And creatives are the people that become those people that write those books, that make those movies, that do those things. And he happens to also be a big fan of Chris Philbrook, who both me and Richard Ryan Rose. Love dearly, along with everybody. Yes, sir. Y'all, whatever. Yeah, Anthony so. Castro, uh, and don't you, Dan? I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at a screen with my glasses <laughs> off. That's the problem. Hell, hang on a minute. During Angel <laughs> Show, I had my damn glasses on. Okay, this is. Oh, holy shit! There are freaking six of us on the screen. Wow. Anywho, don't you, Dan? You bell, ooh bell. Yeah, whatever. I, it I works. Hate your, I hate your fucking last name, you bastard. <laughs> you We've known each other for how long now? Yeah, fuck it. I'm no good with names. Never have been. Never will be. Me too. So, Anthony Castro, welcome to this secondary train wreck. I guess it would be a car crash, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks hey, for having me. I'm, I'm really excited to be here, man. I really, really am. Well, man, tell us a little bit about you, man. Uh, for those of us who have been following you for a little while, we already know that uh, you're into comics, you're deep into comics, and you post some of the coolest freaking images, but you, you're you doing your own. You got Bad Wabbit, and, you, and you're also doing some stuff with AUD. Dude, you got a lot going on here, man. Break it down for us. Well, uh, Bad Wabbit actually is a, a accumulation of a whole bad situation that happened to me a long time ago. Well, I guess it wasn't too long ago. About two and a half years ago, I got diagnosed with heart failure. They told me I was dying. Um, that uh, caused me to end up in bed for about three, three and a half months. Uh, and in the three and a half months, I don't know if you've ever laid in bed that long, but your mind I have. kind of starts slipping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had to find something that kind of get me uh you know kind of motivated with my you know get my mind busy and i started drawing i started learning how to draw and for the longest time i was doing stuff on reddit um i was drawing live on reddit and uh, i created bad wabbit just as kind of a doodle on the corner of a page and everybody was like dude that's really cool you should do something with that guy and i was like you know what i'm totally gonna do something with that guy so i started writing uh, i started drawing my own um comic book uh but i at the time didn't feel like uh my comic uh my art was comic book worthy so i started looking for an artist and i found one uh his name is tommy guns he's chinese and has a very chinese name so i don't know how to pronounce it uh so i just call him tommy guns he's cool with it uh but uh i started writing a i wrote a 48 page script for the comic book. Uh, it was really awesome. Uh, and I had needed an editor and Chris, uh, we all know Chris. Uh, oh yeah. Chris Philbrook. Let's go ahead and drop name. We yep, can, yep, it's yep. okay to name drop here. You can I name freaking drop love it. Chris to death. Uh, <laughs> he literally, oh, saved, he literally saved my life. Cause I mean, at the time I was with the heart failure and being out of a job and all that stuff, I was extremely depressed and kind of not in the right state of mind, but he came and he said, you know what, if you got an idea, go with it. And gave me a lot of confidence, gave me a lot of, uh, uh, back pats and got me going and uh, I wrote the script and he was like you know what let me check it out and so he decided he would edit it for me and we took the 48 page treatment and uh, just cut it in two so now we have book one and two ready to go uh, and book one is actually in production uh, being drawn as we speak so oh, yeah. it's really awesome. It's a really cool story. It's a story of redemption. 
Uh, when we meet Bad Wabbit at the beginning of the story, he's just a burnt out alcoholic. He has had a traumatic past uh, and he kind of literally took his uh, trailer, parked it across the street from the bar in the middle of the desert. And that's where he's decided to stay. And uh, he bounces for the place for drinks and uh, that's his life. And then uh, he gets forced uh, of no <laughs> of no fault of, well, I guess it is his fault, but he gets forced on a, an adventure. He gets kind of hijacked, uh, shanghai by uh, the bad guy, well, bad girl, Foxy Fox. I'm sure you guys have seen. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'd, I'd, hit, I'd hit it again. <laughs> it wasn't me this time jeff 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 dan all y'all <laughs> but yeah she she takes him and that's how his uh little adventure starts and he goes from a burnout and by the end of it hopefully he will have saved the world so that's quite a story arc and it's going to be very interesting uh adventure uh when I when I when I did this, I didn't expect it to be so cool because I like never written anything. I've never published anything, but I uh, wrote it and I gave it to Chris and I was expecting him to hit me back and say, well, this needs to be changed. That needs to be changed. You need to do this and need to do that. And he wrote back and said, you know what? There's really not much I could do with this. This this is good. And so I was like, oh. well, there we go. And uh, really, all he did was help me divide it up and keep it a little bit more uh, paced, you know. And uh, I wouldn't be here without Chris, man, as far as the writing goes, because I, I yeah, he's a lot, man. Hey, Chris is such a such a great guy, and he's always willing to lend a hand to, to a fellow author. I mean, he's given me some outstanding advice, and yeah, he, he's just he's just such a really good dude. Yep, hell of a badass guy. Yeah, he um, is. Well, my thing is, when you start first uh, deciding you want to draw, see, I, I was a doodler back when I was in, like, elementary school and all that, and I actually got to a point where I was doing these things where I would draw a cover photo that would be, like, these big, bulky wrestler-looking guys, but then the next pages would be the stick figures of those guys having wrestling matches, and I'd play them out, where you could almost yeah. do, like, a flip page kind of thing yeah, or whatever. Right. What oh. is it that got you into drawing? Because for me, it was just boredom. Well, that was basically what it was. I, like I said, I was stuck in bed for three months recovering from heart failure and uh, my mind was bored. I was bored and I didn't know what to do. And I like started drawing just because I had paper and pen right there. And then I started doing digital art. Uh, and that kind of took me to where I'm at now with the whole Bad Wabbit and Toxic Pig and Foxy Fox and Space Monkey and all the characters that I created. Um, I just started drawing and I lost myself in it and I love it. I do it every day, uh, every day, every morning, just about, I get on you now uh, and I draw live. Um, I used to do it on, um, on Reddit and uh, I had about 38,000 watchers at a time. Uh, so it wasn't a small crowd, <laughs> but uh as we know, Reddit is uh, very nitpicky, and for some reason or another, they banned me from there, so I haven't been able to get back on there. But I'm hoping yeah. that uh, I can start building another, you know, big group of, of fans and followers, and so by the time the book comes out, <laughs> it'll do really well, you know? So why did you get banned? I got to hear this story. Was it because you were drawn on the toilet live? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, it happened. No, there, there had to be some anal leakage. There had to be some anal leakage. Yeah, Dungeon Dan, nothing but anal leakage has to be. No, there was a, there was a big uh, ordeal with a fellow redditor. He was actually my neighbor in real life, lived right next door, and oh. he got drunk one day, forgot to turn his camera off, and started talking a bunch of shit. And oh. Uh, we got, we kind of got into it because it was the shit was about me and so uh yeah he was a little bit jealous of me because i was actually making money 
from what I was doing and he wanted to yeah mm-hmm. but you got to have talent and some Ooh, kind of, that was uh, a shot hang on that was <laughs> 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 yeah there, there's that yeah. you know you got to have talent <laughs> and will to use it and he had neither so uh he got kind of upset said some stuff and then uh, we got into it and they banned me uh he's still on there <laughs> Did you by chance tell him to kill himself that and expedite his trip to hell or anything like that? Because I got Not I got that I can recall. Okay. But maybe knowing knowing that uh I was gonna get banned now, I probably should have. At the time. In fact, come think of it, Richard, when yeah. you got banned, that, that's what it was, wasn't it? You yeah. basically told somebody just to go to hell. Yeah, yes. Yeah, this, well, this person tried to they was trying to scam me. I said, you know, I told him to eat shit go to hell yeah. and then i tell him you know matter of fact why don't you just kill yourself and expedite your plate your trip to that special place in hell that they prepared for you <laughs> hey look he was at least and, being courteous you know wow. he's offering them a route i mean come on yeah yeah, Everybody yeah. Gets yeah so I, sensitive. and the same thing happened um you know those those assholes that um i know a lot of those you, yeah, you need to be more. Specific. You post, you <laughs> post like a, a a book ad, and they'll go, "Hey, that looks great. Why don't you?" Da, 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 da. Yeah, so they're, they're spamming your yes. book ad. So I finally started, you know, replying to them, telling them to eat shit and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. I told I told one of them to uh-huh. eat shit and die. That's a common phrase. Yeah. Oh. I know. Yep. Facebook banned me for a week. Bastards. Oh, I only got nailed for 24 hours, so I guess. Guess I Wait. need up my game. Wording, Richard. Wording. Mm. You got nailed for 24 hours. Wording. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not exactly what I meant, okay? So I I'm just it is. That's yeah. totally what he meant. Totally what he totally meant. Totally what he meant. Judge he got all you want. over I'll, and plowed. I'll, Judge all you want. I don't give a damn what you think, Jack. I really don't. This, <laughs> this, this is how freaking good I got it going. I got lenses popping out literally out of my glasses as we're sitting here. Sir, you got both, both the wizard, Jack. Oh, look at that. All those now, years of your lens repair school have, have paid off. They've yep. done great, oh, haven't no, they? Not. No, not quite. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yay. I just want to see it come flying I, out. I, I'm currently I, I shooting uh, Angel some pictures uh, that are exclusive. Uh, I wanted to share. Yeah. You. Nudes. You're but, talking about nudes. Was, yeah, total nudes. Hey, it may be nudes. Who knows? So, Why do you look so excited, Angel? I was going to say, wait a minute, Angel. You're not supposed to be excited. <laughs> so you want to tell that. us? Well, it's okay. Anything? We love you anyway. Yeah, exactly. You, 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 you had me you a dick pic. He's going to dance for a great hair. I a dick pic. You can pocket that one. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find some of these cool pictures to show you guys. Um, I have well, an alternate cover and a, a normal cover um, to the comic book already re- ready to go. Um, I let's see, see. There you go, Angel. They're coming your way. Okay. The one with the black background. That's the original uh, cover. And the Star Wars esque is the alternate cover. All right, I see. I don't know how you're going to do that. He'll be able to get that figured out. And in the meantime, I, I mean, did you always, even like when you were a little tea tiny kid, did you have a thing for drawing, or is it just something you started after the fact? It just, I mean, I've really never had uh, like a knack for drawing. Mm-hmm. I did go to college for 3D animation and never graduated, but I was pretty good in the class, uh, the art class. I drew this and that, you know, and it wasn't something that was uh, spectacular. I didn't never plan on doing anything with it. Uh, but uh, my passion really, really sparked uh, while I was laying in that bed trying to recover. And it's like, I don't know, something just came out and I was like, I'm never going to stop doing this. Well, hey, just never forget that Charles Schultz got rejected from an art school because he couldn't draw kids. Wow. And that's Charlie Brown. So (laughs) never stop. Just keep going. Don't worry about the critics. Don't worry about the the people that have negative things to say. You're always going to be surrounded by people that are going, nah, 
this is awesome. No, I haven't got nothing from you after me. Nothing? No. Um, oh. I know no. there's a way to share slides on. Hey, here. Carl Meadows is out there, though. Hello, Carl. Oh, hang on. Hello, Cole, my bloody brick uh. friend. How are you doing today? <laughs> I hope you're having a jolly good time. Have yeah, some tea and here. crumpets for me. You're going to get us banned God. from the UK again. Stop that. <laughs> it's, it's on the Stop poster. It, it's on the poster. All right. It simply says, fuck these guys, the UK. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we finally got back in good graces. Now they're gonna mm-hmm. they're gonna ban us again. It was more fun when they didn't like us. Well, true that. <laughs> well, ah, uh, damn. Well, that's still not... no load. Well, yeah, now, Jeff, let me ask you something Dennis. real quick. Um, yeah. Your art for your covers is pretty badass. But have you ever thought about trying to get Guardians turned into a graphic series of novels, like car, you know, comic book style? Guardians. Shit. Yes. Well, that um, would be so fun, man. Think of the, the blast and splats and the blooms and the piles and the what well, the fucks, man. Yeah, but you're talking, you're talking like three quarters of a million words. Okay, you know but many, we're, we're... You know how many we, pages of comic that would translate to? It no, would. The but comic gotta, book would be... The I, graphic I, novel I, would be I, like I, that I, thick. <laughs> But it cost is, like 150,000 bucks. That's why you got to get them down to this big and just make like a trillion of them. Uh-huh. You know, you just kind of keep it going in tiny bits. That's what comic books are. So, Anthony, I'm asking you. Okay. That. So, it'll take me about 150 years longer than I have left to publish the whole thing. That's, awesome. what, that's what your fans are rooting for. We need you to keep going and going and going. See, this is what you guys Dude, understand. You got to go forever. My body's already beat to shit. Oh, uh, okay. I, think I got the pictures. 150 out, more of them. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so let, me, let me show them off. So oh. that's, the, that's the alternate cover. That's going to be uh, the rare one. That's going to be the cover that is going to be like one out of 20, maybe. <laughs> you know, so okay. Um, well, all it's I know cover is, we all get, right? Yeah, Angel, I'll say there's a wall back here. Angel, right there. If, you, if you send those to Richard, Richard can put them up. Yeah, true. And like banners or whatever. Oh, yeah, I, gonna, I was gonna say there's a way to do it on here. I'm just not sure exactly how. Yeah, I was gonna share it uh, on my screen. But <clears throat> I don't know how to do that, and I'm. Well, that's because it's Zoom. If yeah, it was yeah. what, what, no, the key, the key it'd be is simple. No, no, what you got to do, you go to Facebook, go to the actual live feed, which, ah, crap, bad hand, nerve damage, kiss my no, ass. Don't, don't complicate it. Go, go here to where you don't. see our shining faces on the screen and go down here into the little comments area and you drop it in there. But then we can't see it here. You will be able to see it here. Because I'll do this. Well, I, I don't, oh, okay. That makes it better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, we don't have Hollywood money, Jeff. We don't have Hollywood money. We've got, like, I don't know, lower Antioch money. That's not much. Lower what? Antioch. It's a Nashville thing. You'd understand if you lived here. Dan, uh, and, got, I do it all, Dan and I do it all the time. But it's two stone bastards. <laughs> On StreamYard. That's no. Horrible. Well, actually, yes, it is StreamYard. Yeah, so. Hey, Anthony, can you send that to me? Can you try uh, sending me that? Nah, yeah, I, I got you. Uh, I might be able to share it. In the meantime, me, Jeff, and Dan will continue to bicker amongst each other like of fucking course. brothers. You know, yeah. that's what we do. <laughs> Richard, I got some stuff I could send you to put up, too. Oh, <laughs> should oh, be interesting. Maybe okay. I will get that no. week old man from Facebook if I put it up there. Then. <laughs> no, that, that gets you a lifetime <laughs> man. Hey, boy, got, you're done. I got three days uh, subsen- uh, subspent. I got off of Facebook for three days because I posted one picture that was a uh, approved film picture of a horror movie, and they said that's too graphic. You've been <laughs> restricted for three days. And I'm like, really? Do oh. you know my fucking Facebook? We talk about movies, right? Well, yeah, that's why right. I can't. That's why I can't post anything in the Facebook chat. Is because I'm uh, currently banned from groups. 
uh, on Facebook. Well, good. Uh, That's why we like you. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, you fit right in. Uh, no, uh, there was a video of some girl standing in the middle of the road taking her selfies blocking traffic. And I said, I would have run her ass over. And they banned me for inciting violence. So <laughs> I still got, got carried, basically. Yeah. Ah, damn. Sensitive. That's what yeah. he is. Sensitive. Terrible. There was, there was a DJ morning program in San Diego years ago. I know who you're talking about. And they called it, yeah, Dave, Shelley, and James. Yep, DNC. They I called it. Them. They called it the pussification of America. That's right. Yep. And this was like 20 years ago. It's only gotten worse since then. Yep. I used to love it when they used to, um, one of the characters used to do the impression of JFK. And he always had a slur. He's like, why does my head hurt? It seems <laughs> <fucking> hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, you talk about the wussification, pussification, bitchification of America. I swear, I keep waiting to wake up one morning and I've got a fucking Ewok in my face with a spear going, yeah, y'all are this soft. We got you. The whole world is taken over by Ewoks. Like, it's we're that soft because all our fucking military around the world will be out there going you're so cute <laughs> just love it it's like we're done we have no chance no oh my shot. god jack you just gave me an hour's worth of fucking with you on that one <laughs> ewoks <laughs> let's start with ewoks you went there i did i did, I did. Go, Ryan. Come on, Richard. oh i i, Jump I in this bandwagon <laughs> I, I totally left out the part though that they came in riding on saddleback on goats I do that every Saturday morning. <laughs> Take Last that goat, goat I for saw, a ride. I got drunk with him. What's that? Last goat I saw, I got drunk with him. It was a while ago. Mm. That's a man <laughs> of the people right there, Dan. A That's a man of the buddy. people. That's a Texas staple. That's what that is. All right, if you haven't now. gotten drunk with a goat and woke up with kids, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing right. Oh, you just went. <laughs> oh, there, you boy. sorry, bastard. Uh, I fucking hate that you one. Sometimes. Was dedicated to Angel Ramon. Oh, <laughs> two eagles from Angel today. Uh, I'm on a roll. Um, Angel, do you have a retort? Uh, bite me. That's a good retort. I'll That's go with that. That's a good one. Sure, I'll go with all it. right. Oh, the good goodie. Back to Anthony over here. Let me ask you this, man. As you're drawing the images that you draw, because I, hell, I guess I can grab my notebook. So, I, so I'm, I'm about a half ass drawer, especially ever since I lost my damn mind. Most of, a, most of that. No, no, actually, I take that back. No, losing your mind helps you with drawing. It's just like writing. You know, you want that's to be true. crazy because if you're half out of your mind, you can come up with some of the craziest images of all time. And yeah, I know y'all may be hearing pages turn because i am digging looking for something but this is just music this was just me bored one night talking with an ex-girlfriend and she was like well you used to draw you used to draw and so i just kind of threw these little doodles up <laughs> gee that looks you like know, copyright infringement to me you know weird things <laughs> what do you well, got to say about I'll, that anthony I'll, <laughs> I'll have you know i've been drawing these things since like the 80s so you know top mm. me i on believe that, that. <laughs> I guess you could actually steal bad wabbit too, because oh. <laughs> Anthony's rabbit looks cool. I'm just messing with you. You're drawing Richard? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, well, duh. Let's get out with that. You know what? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what he said. But yeah, dude, I love I love the comic book art, and it was something obviously I never got good at, which is why when I watch what you've been doing and the stuff you've been writing and drawing and creating, it's like holy crap, this dude needs to keep going. He's just go with yeah. it. Because I always I want to do it, it, but that's as far as I ever got. It's I've had so many people years. tell me to give up. I've had so many people tell me to stop. And, and, no, and, no, and no, no. I'm like, whenever you go on you now, Anthony, I'm like, I'm like, I like watching. Even, even, even when I'm busy writing, I watch. Yeah, yep, yeah. I, I try to. Angel I may pop in and drop a like and I'm out, but I try to catch whatever I can, man. Dude, keep going. Yeah, um, I've been... Uh, Holding off on writing book three of Bad Wabbit until uh, book two is in production. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of been uh, messing around with some AUD fan fiction. And that story is becoming very, very cool. Uh, 
I hope that uh, one day I get to show all of you the finished product. Um, it's it's very fun. Uh, I started it out as uh, you know just something to sharpen my writing skills and kind of you know have some fun in Chris's sandbox, which you know he gave me the blessing to do. But um, I'm not expecting it to ever be like officially published under the AUD story canon or anything but it's just something for me to have some fun with and uh it started out as uh i was gonna have it where the guy my character was pretty much uh didn't care and was just gonna have some fun uh during the zombie apocalypse and just do whatever the hell he wanted to and uh it ended up uh, a good story about a boy and his dog because i wrote it about myself uh, the character is Anthony Castro, and uh, he his dog is Tucker, who is my dog, somewhere around here. I like he he starts looking for the dog. Like, is it dead? Uh, oh, there and, he is. and nobody hey, wants the dog. Tucko. No, but hey, cutie pie. Look I love Tucker. I'm, I'm gonna see Tucker. This is my Tuckeroo. He's a that is a cool border, looking dog, man. Border uh -huh. terrier. He's a good dog. He's a good boy. <laughs> and in the meantime while he's showing off a good dog i'm literally looking over at a cat that is licking the trash bag in my sad bedroom table he's just that's for... why cats suck and dogs rule <laughs> well hang on nah. let's see if i can make this work yeah. see, see little dumbass down there yeah, yeah my you know, last yeah, cat was a failure you Your knew it looks high too. He always looks like that <laughs> i wish i could always look like that the hell at least people say he's cute yeah, I know. I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> so, so now, hey, right. if you guys got some questions, because how <clears throat> earlier during Angel Show, uh, certain ones of us had to take off on a bathroom break. I need to. So, have at it, boys. Get the end of this guy's brain, because there's questions that need to be answered. Yeah, I don't want to answer anything. Let's do it. All right. Since Jack's leaving, let's talk shit. <laughs> no, uh, I got a question for you, Anthony. I, I watch your videos as well. <clears throat> And for me, I, I can't really draw. I don't pretend to, but I find it amazing that you're able to do a digital drawing. So your hand's moving on this little pad at the same time, you're just looking at your screen. Yeah. I can't, I just can't conceive of the concept. It seems Lots like of video games. Oh, see, <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I, I play them, but I don't play them like a lot. So yeah, the uh, eye hand coordination that I have when it comes to that kind of stuff is. 100% from video games, being able to know where your hands are without looking at them. So mm. you know, it's not, it's, it, it's an acquired thing. I know people that can draw very well on pen and or pad, uh, pencil and, and paper. paper. And yeah. I put them on the digital pad just to see what they can do. And they have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. And, it's an alien concept to me. So it, it, cause they're, they're, they're used to seeing what they're drawing come out where they're drawing yeah uh, and so when they're drawing on the pad they're not they're looking at the pad and i'm like there's nothing showing up there look at the screen <laughs> yeah i can't it's hard for me to 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 get that and i have a daughter that draws and she it's the same thing i would watch her draw and she's just on this pad looking at her screen i'm like how the fuck are you doing that yeah it's it's definitely something it took some time to get used to so now would it be the equivalent of just learning to type because I remember, you know, when I first learned to type exactly. on a typewriter, I'm, I'm talking a typewriter with the big yeah. standing tall keys and the slide, the thing, and clack, zoop, clack, you know, ding. all that. And yet they would tell you, don't look at your keys. Don't look at your keys. Look yeah. forward. Yeah, Just look right, at what, right, and right. so is that, is that, yeah, that would be the same the thing. Equivalent. Yeah, it's very much. Okay. The, uh, just got to know where your hands are uh, in relation to what's on the screen. Well, now there, I have an incident where I know exactly where my hand is in coordination to what's on the screen. Dan? <laughs> Called Dan. Pornhub. Dan. Dan. Asian lesbians. <laughs> I, I got that shit down. For the record, Dan, just in case you forgot, the padded room is the one that rides a train. Oh, okay? I forgot. Yeah. Right now we're I mean, basically padded room. We're basically go. in a we're basically in a Ford F one fifty. We ain't got too many tires we could lose. Okay, that's and fine. We we're just, gonna wreck before we get to the station. <laughs> we just lost one. We're already getting sideways. So hang on now. Wait, 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 whistle. <laughs> yeah. It's like in Angels Group when we do uh, the Angels Maximus show. We're out there in a chariot. You literally got two wheels. 
So well, that's why there's always so much that. screaming going on. <laughs> yes. Two flaming wheels. Hey. Do we, oh, look, you guys yeah. see anything up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. looky, looky, looky. Man, that is beautiful. Okay. I see. I like that bad wabbit is not some huge muscle bound thing. I get so sick yeah. of that shit. Yeah, he, he, he looks he's like He's got me. some muscle, hey. but I mean, he's normal. Yeah, I yeah, want him exactly. to be uh, the everyday guy. Relatable. Uh, you know, I want him to be relatable. Um, right. I, I, the first concept that the, they gave me uh, the little because I were I drew my own character. I drew him, and I that's sent cool as shit. And uh, cool as shit. yeah, that's the ultimate cover. Um, nobody has seen that. Uh, very very few people have seen that. Well, so a lot of people have seen uh, it ex- now. Exclusive well, yeah, that's, right yeah. here, baby. I saved it for this it? moment. Well, Camille. I saved yeah. it for this moment. So I would God, buy man. that issue just because of the cover. Yeah, Dude, no shit. By the way, Foxy, that, that, here goes that hand. <laughs> yeah, Amazon's not going to like that. They won't let you do uh, ad campaigns for that one. Dude, that that's because there's a mask on going the on the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I I took the concept from the old Star Wars uh, poster. Ah, uh, yeah, with him with the sabers pointing yeah. up, and then the, like, yeah, okay, and uh, I see it. <laughs> instead, of I Le- see it. instead of Leia by his leg, it's a pig. <laughs> yeah, so, it's great. So, I like the I, I like, like the it. fucking war machines. We got a was that a Spitfire? No, those are P fifty one Mustangs. They are P fifty one Mustang, and then yeah, we got um, a, a Zeppelin holding up a boat. I mean, so that's awesome. The the planes they're called mini mustangs i call them mini mustangs that's the coined uh phrase for them uh because they are basically the size of a motorcycle uh so they're like p51s that you ride on not sit in a cockpit okay so there's uh, in book two there's going to be an awesome uh uh air battle uh with those involved and it's going to be really really cool Oh, okay. that's gonna be awesome. Well, so next question: Why does the pig have a mask? Is there a respiratory issue? Is it really fucking ugly? Uh, he's called Toxic Pig for a reason. Um, he. Well, you think he'd put something on the back end then? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, see, he's got a uh, power that I haven't really revealed too much about. Uh, but okay. he, let's just say the mask is not to keep toxic fumes out. out. Mm. Okay. That's it's intriguing. Toxic fumes in. Mm. Without that mask, you could very well uh, kill everything within a mile radius. Hot damn. Oh, I know hey. what it is. It's overdose of bacon smell. Yep. Don, don, <laughs> don, don, <laughs> in a minute. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, he's a science experiment. He doesn't know uh, where he came from or how he got here. Uh, he's just here uh and that's why in the comic book uh he literally just pops out of nowhere and he's like hey my name's toxic pig what's up want to be friends and of course bad wabbit's like hell no and (laughs) so uh but they end up getting trapped together on this adventure and slowly and surely throughout the story they're going to become really good pals Mm -hmm. now Uh, anthony i wanted to ask you what, what, what made you choose a rabbit out of all animals to play as the MC? I have a really good friend. He's like a brother to me. Uh, his okay. name is uh, Mickey Hoover. I don't know if you guys have seen him on uh, my Facebook. He comments a lot on a lot of my stuff. Uh, but his nickname uh, when I first met him, and I still call him it, was Rabbit. We call him Rabbit. Oh, okay. okay. And he's a tough little son of a bitch. And so I was uh, originally drew uh, Bad Wabbit as homage to my friend Wabbit, uh, Rabbit, and uh, it just kind of stuck, like I ran with it. And uh, so he is the inspiration for his look and all that stuff. That's nice. cool. Dude, I mean, it, that, that art was beautiful. I mean, it really was. I mean, yeah. that was like new age comic book, let's go rock and roll, do it man i mean that was gorgeous shit man 
Yeah, it's going to be amazing, man. I'm really psyched about getting it done. And uh, yeah. I have been doing it out of pocket. Uh, so, and it's really been hard because I'm on disability. I like, I have my heart issue. And so I don't have a job. I get one paycheck a month and with kids and bills and rent and food and all that stuff. It doesn't leave me with a lot of money to put towards the project, mm -hmm. but every chance that I get, every chance that I get, I throw money at my artist and he pumps out one of those badass pages. And uh, it's, that's why it's been such a slow going, but you know, anybody want to throw me money, we can uh, get us <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> go fund me bitches. Yeah, well, I did a GoFundMe and it didn't do so well. Uh, so that's why I kind of gave up on it and just kind of started funding it myself. And then once it's completely finished, uh, ready to be printed out, we're going to do a Kickstarter. Okay. And uh, then we're going to get as many of those out. Um, I'm going to have posters and all kinds of stuff, try to get that stuff done. Uh, my mother, God bless her, uh, has been my biggest supporter. Uh, anytime something happens and I need a little extra, she's right there because she has such faith in this. She knows that I, she says she's I've never seen me so determined to do something in my life. And I, well, it's good. It, That's good. It's well, man, ho hopefully by getting you on this show here today, eventually getting you onto the padded room, we find a spot because there's only so many seats, get you onto that this is just another springboard you know to help carry you on to the next level man well yeah i mean uh like i said i was kind of nervous coming on because i haven't published anything officially but i'm definitely doing that and it's going to be done uh but i figured it would be a good opportunity to put the name out there get uh people on board let them know who bad Wabbit is who i am what dmw comics is all about um the ultimate goal is to hopefully do so well with my comics that I'm able to help other comic book artists and other comic book writers uh, the same way, uh, you know, others have helped me get this done, uh, Chris and so forth and so on. You know what I mean? So, uh, man, man, the publishing world, as I've discovered recently, that's a pretty weird place to freaking have to wander around. It's not easy to deal with, and you're not going to get a lot of acceptance acceptance in most places that you go to you're yeah. always going to get ridicule you're going to get criticism yeah, you're not going to so. get feedback feedback is the key give me feedback don't well, give think, me criticism you know i think god prepared me for all that because i've been ridiculed and talked shit about and treated like crap my whole life pretty much <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I got a pretty good handle on how to Like I said, yeah. I think our feet, I think our feet fit in the same shoes, brother. I think they fit in the same <laughs> shoes. But that's but that's why fit the that, same that, shoes. That's hey, why people like us come together. Jeff, man, run this thing for a minute. Hey Jack, why are you invisible? <laughs> why why do you even ask? It's I, like the best show he, ever. You turned the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> oh damn it. I had to disappear for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know uh -huh. why. He was looking at Fox and Fox too. I, ha I have why. several. I have. I have several theories. If you want me to explain yes. each one, each one. Okay, we'll start with theory number one. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 <laughs> word. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I, we'll I, we'll go we'll go with real theory. My dumbass hit a button and didn't mean to. So whatever. <laughs> well, I just want to say I've. Since I've gotten into the whole indie writing and, and community, um, I can honestly say that I have very rarely in my life met such a cool group of people that even though they razz each other all the time, they are very supportive of each other. And that, to me, I think is another thing that, uh, that kind of like draws me to want to keep doing this because of the people that I've been meeting in, you know, on this adventure, I guess you could say. Well, yeah, I mean, we support each other because who else is gonna? Exactly. Damn right. Exactly. Yeah. Well said. Exactly. But that, and I, I'm gonna piggyback on what Jeff just said. Is I think a big part of it is you meet people that have wrote something, that have produced something, done something, and that's cool and all, and that's how you meet. But then you actually get to talk to each other outside of that, outside yeah. of the books, outside of the writing, outside of the editing, outside of all of it. And you suddenly realize, man, you're a cool person. I like you. Yeah, yeah. And then, then the community really starts to pull itself together. 
and then it's just when you get the stupid infighting over dumb shit, and it's usually over what you wrote, what you wrote. Ah. Yeah, it's it like, gets, it gets get fucking it. crazy. And, and places like right. Book Asylum is a great place where everybody just gets along. Yeah. You know, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, guys. Yeah. You, Jeff, but, you, you know, you don't really love it. Yourself, it damn. You it's lucky no he wins. He's, he's <laughs> lucky his like, ass in the bottom because it's too hot for me to go out there and fight in the bottom. It's well, like Chris Dilbro. Um, I was a big fan of his before I ever even talked to him. I ever even met mm. him. I was a big fan of his. Um, I used to listen to audiobooks while I was working. So mm-hmm. I'd be at work listening to Adrian's Undead Diary and mm-hmm. you know, book one, mm-hmm. two, all the way to the end, you know, I, and then uh, one day I just hit him up on uh, Instagram. I said, hey, man, I, I just wanted to let you know that I really like your books. Uh, I really enjoy your stories. I really just I appreciate your your books and stuff. And unlike most people, you know, people that are established, you write them, they just say thanks or whatever, and that's it, you know. <laughs> uh, but he wrote back and he was like, man, I really appreciate you telling me that I like it when people tell me that it's touched them in you know some kind of way, and uh, over a while we just kind of started uh, talking, and he was watching what I was doing with the Bad Wabbit and the comic books, and now here we are. Um, I'm I consider him a friend, and he was my favorite author, so it's like you know dream come true, I guess you could say. David Simpson's another one. Yeah, I mean that dude. That dude is a rock star. He yeah. is like the Godzilla yeah. of indie writers. Nicest and, guy you'd want to meet. And approachable. Oh, totally very, approachable. Yeah, very mm-hmm. approachable. And with a badass car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it a Batmobile? <laughs> no, no, it's a badass Mustang. Uh-huh. Yep. All apocalypsed out. The, the dude is running the cannonball, man. Uh huh. Yeah. But that Chris Philbrick has? No, 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 no. David, David Simpson. Simpson. David Simpson. Oh, okay. David All right. Now, now Chris ain't Don't getting worry, out of the house. Richard. Allegedly. A- am I lost now? I thought we were talking about Chris Philbrick. And next thing you know, well, he ran a cannonball. Like, well, this is David what Simpson. happens when you get retired and you actually retire, and then you're lost in the world. <laughs> it's going to take you a few years. <laughs> Legal trying substances to keep up. will help. It's, I'm, just, I'm just adjusting to being so unimportant now. I mean, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Mr. Just, uh, trust you're just now realizing the only reason they listened to you because you you outranked them yeah. <laughs> welcome to my much. world yeah well, suddenly now you're yeah. on our level so eh. yeah no yeah. But seriously I, though welcome oh. to the gutter i lost all nine of my stripes in one you know just like that well hey go ahead and get, them nine, get, get them nine back <laughs> And you go mm-hmm. hit Anthony Castro as the car- the cartoon artist. And uh, what would you want to know? Because I want to know this. I'm going to pair you both together and y'all figure it out. I want a freaking comic book mega series of Buford and Rue doing <laughs> their thing. How do we make that happen? Uh, step by step. <laughs> you got to get through <laughs> yeah. You got to get your artist. You got to get um, all that stuff. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out the ins and outs. And uh, Chris Philbrook, again, uh, dropping the name, he actually helped me with most of that, uh, telling me what to do. Like he'd say, you need to do this. I'd go do it. I'd say, okay, Chris, I did that. What do I do next? Boom. And he'd tell me what to do next. And he just kind of helped me keep the process going. So that's when I say I wouldn't have gotten this far without Chris. I literally mean I wouldn't have gotten here without Chris. So uh, it's it's been a ride uh definitely want to get a script done get it edited get yourself a really good artist that can pump out uh pages pretty quick my artist like i said he's taking his time because of my pay situation but if you got money to throw down uh you can get a comic book done pretty quick yeah Uh, it's not if they don't do it for free though i mean it's not no 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 well, my artist, uh, the way it came about is a very interesting story. Um, I don't know how, uh, how how much y'all believe in the power of prayer, but it's definitely uh, a prayer answered because uh, I had gotten an artist and she was she was good, but she was in college and she was very, very distracted and it was taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to to get things going. And so um I, we kind of separated and I had already met the artist I have now, but he wanted to charge me a whole lot for one page. 
you know, like I think it was like six hundred, seven hundred dollars, something like that. And um, I was like, I can't do that. And I ended up going with the girl. That didn't work out. And I was taking a walk, and I was like, God, please send me a artist that could help me with my comic book, someone I can afford. And that same day, um, that guy hit me back. And he was like, hey, man, I just saw all your story. I saw your art. I saw your concepts. And he goes, I will do, I want to be a part of this. He goes, I will do it for whatever you can pay me. And so we worked out a very uh, reasonable deal. We're doing it 180 a page. And uh, he's been doing amazing art, just amazing work. And he's been helping me. He says he has 100% faith in it. And the cool thing that not a lot of people know is my artist is actually the leader, uh, has a lead team. He leads a team of animators. Uh, and they have already, by reading the story and seeing the art coming out, have already agreed that if Bad Wabbit does good as a series in the comic books, they have already agreed to do an animation. So nice. You can even get nice. a Bad Wabbit cartoon uh, when this is Very all cool. done. And oh man, I'd like to see that. that. Hell and yeah, I would. It'll be done by the same guys that did the comic book too, so it'll look just like the comic book, but in motion. Nice. Now, nice. Will you be, will cool. you be carry will you be carrying the smart assness on into all that? Uh yeah, definitely. And uh I, I've got a character ready. Uh you guys are gonna like it because it's totally ready for uh for animation uh it's going to be slutty sloth she's a stripper and uh, <laughs> slow <laughs> stripper exactly i was, I was yeah. gonna say hey man <laughs> like watching dragon it's ball gonna z take it takes like me. two months to get through five minutes yeah, yeah. it's gonna be like take, uh, you know take your time baby take your time <laughs> 20 minutes uh, you know <clears throat> i thought it would be funny uh so you know she's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> by then everybody's done they've already left exactly. she gets to the good parts and it's like and yeah that's need a mop. On fire, boys yeah. <laughs> see you next month with my panties <laughs> can you this... imagine can you, can you imagine the animated version of ghost jack oh, oh yes i can actually oh god oh uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Except oh, now, there's one that, scene that popped in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's now the one I'm thinking. I know. Of. See what I'm getting I know. in the eye right now. I'm literally <laughs> gouging myself in Nothing the eye right worse now. Than that one. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil freaky, it. But. Freaky, freaky <laughs> ghost sex. Yeah, I've been and listening to those. Uh, those books. Food. Oi. Yeah, I've been listening Oi. to your books. They're really good, man. Thank which, you. Which one are you up to? I'm almost at the end of the second one. I have kids and everything, so it's not really something I can listen to with them. Or <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but it's definitely great. Uh, great story. I, okay, at this current pace, just because I can ask it, because, you know, I'm part of the damn show. Uh, who's your favorite character so far? Um, let's see. I think I like Amato. Do you? Yeah. Amato, oh, like Amato. Amato. That's right. Man. Amato and Bobo. Or for me, you know, I always like the really strong females uh, in stories because I don't think there's enough of them. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah she's, screw her. She, she always wants to shoot me. I know, that's <laughs> yeah. and that's, that's why. why. That's, that's what I'm saying. Screw Jenna Motto because she killed me in the last. <laughs> yeah, and she did. She killed the hell out yeah. of him. Well, about it. <laughs> from what I understand, I'm in there getting killed somewhere. I don't know if it's the third book or the fourth coming out, but uh oh, I'm, you got your death coming, trust me. Oh, yes, pretty. You do. I think <laughs> yours was in I think yours was in the third. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Let me double check that. Mine was in the third. Yep, no, that's that's my checky, checky. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out when people got killed. That's all we're trying to do right now. You're keeping up, with, keeping up with stuff like well, that. It's, it's not I have easy. a list because in Epic Mayhem, the list is so huge. It yeah. is ridiculously huge. <laughs> That's all what's so people, great about it. They literally volunteer. And Angel's constantly getting killed. That's just, yeah, like, I know. That's mm -hmm. fun. That's, That's, That's so fun. fun. It's yeah, like I told mm -hmm. you, Angel, it's fun, man. It's fun stuff. Yeah. But yeah. But okay, now Anthony, let me ask you this: If you could write for only one DC Marvel, 
Uh, definitely Marvel. Thank you. Uh, I was going to kick you off the show if you'd say the other one. <laughs> uh, no, I think DC is really? going uh, very, very downhill. Um, but I've always really liked Marvel for the X Men, uh, the Avengers, uh, Captain America. He's one of my favorites. Um, I've always liked him and his righteousness. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's definitely something I would do. Uh, I've been a big fan of Stan Lee, and uh, I remember yeah. sitting in my closet and and whenever I was a kid, I would I used to go to the uh, comic book store all the time, and the guy that ran the comic book store uh, would always give me these stacks of of comic books that they were having to get off the shelf. And uh, I would go home and lock myself in my closet. So even if somebody peeked in my room and real quick, I wasn't in there, they couldn't mess with me. And so I would sit in my closet with a flashlight and read all these comic books, all kinds of comic books, just Marvel, DC, uh, Dark Dark Horse, and mm -hmm. all that stuff, you know. I even yeah, had I... an anarchist cookbook. So, you know, <laughs> if you ever let a kid have that, I don't know, but it was fine. <laughs> I never got into superheroes. When I went to the comic book store as a kid, I would always either get a, a copy of Richie Rich or Sad Sack to mm. hide the copies of Eerie and all the horror comics that my mom didn't want me to get. Nah. So she'd nah, see nah. that, you know, I'd come in and she'd see Richie Rich on top. She's like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then Richie would just get tossed off and <laughs> Dang. 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 wording, wording. Yeah, wording. I was going to say. And what else? Um, what else how do you know i don't mean exactly what i said <laughs> <laughs> you know you're presuming to know what i'm saying yeah. to each their own nothing wrong with that, <laughs> wrong with that. Their own, right? you guys uh you guys are, are are fans jack and and richard you guys are fans of the cryptids right and oh so yeah i wanted oh, yeah. to I, i'm gonna put it out there the world of bad rabbit is not just anthropomorphic creatures i created bad wabbit's world to literally include anything i uh, wanted it to be so you've open heard you've that, heard yeah <laughs> so i was gonna say like there's very good possibility to have bigfoot werewolves uh fairies dragons uh all that kind of stuff uh along his adventures and so it's gonna be a very cool universe that i'm creating and uh i would i might just put a bigfoot in there named jack Nah, cool. nah, okay. nah, nah. There can't be no Bigfoot Jack. I'm thinking collaboration. Bigfoot being Buford, written by Richard Ryan Rose, <laughs> needs to pop in and hang out with Bad Rabbit. In the meantime, it's cartoon style. Because with your art, dude, yeah. I would love to see what the Bear Baron looked like with his leather jacket, with his <laughs> plates and everything, but skinny fied. And still, uh, there's Buford getting in the fucking way, as always. Yeah, you're on the cover of the, my next book, dumbass. I am. I'm, I'm sexy yeah. on the cover of the next book. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can't be looking sexy on that cover. Look at hot. Dude, right? uh, Wendy Saber Core nailed those covers, by the way. Oh, my yeah. God. I look yeah, so I good. Those. those are really cool. Oh, I twisted you. my own nipples when I saw the one with me on it. I just... <laughs> putting it out there i ain't even gonna go into detail about what i've done to those covers so far <laughs> porn hub's gotten a huge break from me for the past few weeks <laughs> that's why they sent me that message going hey, richard he's been gone for a while yeah i canceled my subscription i need to save money anyway <laughs> wait i get it for free you're doing something wrong <laughs> No, he, I get the full video. Yeah, he gets the, he gets the exclusives. <laughs> I don't need full videos. Don't last that long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he lasts as long as the click. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay, yeah. then. Off. One minute of gay midget porn and dance like boom. Done. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. Midget, lesbian, alien, Vasquatches. There you go. I'll do it, man. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Anthony, uh, you die in book four. Oh, okay. the destruction. Cool. Well, I will definitely be getting that one. Get all of them, asshole. I got a problem. 
I already There's got them. All. I'm, working, I'm working my way through them. Thank you. All right, hey. Anthony, I got a serious question for you. Um, what's the industry like up in uh, where you're living? Am I allowed to say the city you're in? Um, Austin? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, you know, some people get all weird about that. I don't care. Like they think I'm going to come visit or something. Oh, <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> yeah, I Angel, I finally found your house. I love nah. the invited guests. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. He told me. No. Um, yeah. So, yeah, how is did. the the, the comic industry, the writing industry? I mean, Austin's big for music. At least it yeah, was when I first that's came really to what Texas. The, that's really mm. what's going on over here is music. I don't really know a lot of writers and comic book people around here. Uh, of course, I don't ever leave my house, so it's kind of hard to meet people when you never go anywhere. <laughs> that's true. true. <laughs> doesn't, yeah. doesn't Robert Rodriguez have a studio out there? He does. But oh, the, that's cool. The Good film industry is, I mean, we're always filming something down here, but it's not as big as you yeah. would think and it's funny because uh texas was supposed to be where hollywood was going to start not los angeles oh. i don't know if you guys knew that this little no, weird fact about texas but hey. something went through something fell through and they wound up going over to la um but we, we still have a lot of filming that's happening over here yeah um I don't know. Uh, the comic books, um, I don't know very many people that do comic books around here, and I certainly don't know anybody that's published uh, comic books out of Austin. Uh, I'm sure there are. I just haven't met them. But I'm hoping that with the publishing of Bad Wabbit, I start getting to know them uh, more and uh, networking. You know, uh, it's all about networking. You know, you meet somebody, yeah. they show introduce you to somebody, and the next thing you know, you know, one after the other. That's that's the way right, I guess. Same, same exact thing. Oh, Jeff, your glasses are just, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's always looking good. He's always looking good. Well, Every ladies and gentlemen. On the screen. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I got choked up there a little bit because, um, unfortunately, we are at the end of the show. This thing flew by. Zipped yeah. by, zoomed by, yeah. did all the Z's. It went right on by here. <sighs> Guys, this was a fun show. Anthony, stop being so down on your damn self, first <laughs> off, because you're hanging out with a bunch of dudes that ain't having you on this show if you don't have talent. Period. Thank ain't having mm -hmm. oh, You okay. got it, baby. You got it. It's all there. And how, do we explain, how do we explain Dan, though? <laughs> well, you don't. I'm an enigma. <laughs> I just pop up like a fucking a herpes sore. He, <laughs> okay. He's like the bat, he's like the guy that's in the 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 room at the radio station that the co that the main host at the radio station occasionally goes to, but they wind up on the show full time anyway, even though they're really supposed to be taking callers. That's that. All right. That's pretty much me. <laughs> the weirdo in the closet jerking off. He's a gimp. I he's didn't just, mention that part. I because... think you were just taking a dig because I'm still writing and I haven't really told y'all what's up. You had you had you in the closet on that shit. We know. No, different closet, different closet. Same closet. Shit keeps getting stuck together. It's hard to separate pages without ripping it. I ain't asking. <clears throat> Don't you dare tell me. I'm telling you everything. <laughs> Look at Jack. He's like all crazy. Are you like, pretending to be frozen? Fuck? Yeah, I was doing yeah. that because y'all kept encouraging me to do it, so I did it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, damn it. We have successfully, somehow, miraculously reached the end of another episode of the new christened Book Asylum with me, your host, Jack Childers, my tag team partners, my brothers to the end, Richard Ryan Rose, Angel Ramon, Dungeon Dan, whatever the fuck your last name is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jeff thompson of all freaking people ladies and gentlemen all right here on this show together hanging out with the one and only anthony castro super fan man castro. of the man got his own comics going let's go with this come on everybody let's go let's get behind anthony right now right. Boom. go get these comics let's do this thing we will see you guys next week with our next guest who i can't remember right now because 
for fuck's sake, they got me writing. They got me going to work. They got me keeping. Anyway, this has been the Book Asylum. I am Jack Childress. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Bye.